another Burn Your Boats production, actually the premiere of Two Easy Tuesdays. Um, I am excessively overdressed and hot from being at the beach today. Um, but I was I was working. To, I got up the early this morning and had a had a group run. Had to go into work for a little bit for a couple of things. And uh, I'm actually recording this early for y'all because I had an opportunity to to seize it, to seize today. And so I am doing so. And so it won't be won't be terribly long because I don't want to fall out because of the heat. But I'm here on beautiful Tybee Island. Just gorgeous. And I figured that I would get a recording in for the first, like I said, the first production of a Two Easy Tuesdays from Burn Your Boats with me, your host, Matthew Lestalia. And uh, before I strip down and, and jump into that water and actually enjoy the day, I figured I'd, uh, I'd, I'd get the recording done for y'all. So what is Two Easy Tuesdays? Well, Two Easy comes from the military. I actually remember the first time that I ever heard it was before I even joined when I was at the recruiting station. And I remember one of the recruiters talking to another one and one guy asked him, he was like, hey, uh, can you can you go do something? Can you go to the school or whatever? And the guy's response, the recruiter's response was, yeah, yeah, for sure, it's too easy. And I'm like, I just, I remember it stood out, obviously, because over a decade later, I still remember that event. And it was, it was interesting I'd never heard it before, um, but the, the whole concept behind behind it and the mentality that, that that almost forces you to take when you say it is is powerful. And so when thinking about that, it's obviously you know it's something that's very common in the military, and um, and so with us saying it all the time, uh, we kind of lose sight of what it is. But for those not in the military. Um, it's, it's something to ponder, something to think about that you could add into your own life, but I wanted to name this new aspect, a new production of the show, Too Easy Tuesdays, because one, I love alliteration, so there's that, but also because I wanted to identify the things that actually are too easy to either add to or change or modify uh, what's going on in your current life. Just just simple, simple little things that you can do that modify uh, your current behaviors to get you on the path to the behave to start acting in the way that is that will produce your desired result. And so it goes I feel like it goes really well in tandem with that's what you get Wednesdays because if you keep doing the negative things are the things that are producing your current results, then you're going to keep getting, if you keep doing your current actions, then you're going to keep getting your current results. And that's what you get. So Too Easy Tuesdays is really based around the idea that if you start making these little changes, you can start seeing the compound effect of them if you add them in as fundamental parts of your life. So... With all of that said, and all of the prefacing complete, what is the aspect that we're going to be talking about for this very first Too Easy Tuesday? Well, I want to make it super easy. And also super powerful. And so, really, the one thing that I ask you to change this week before we hit uh, next week's Too Easy Tuesday, I want, you to, I want you to try this out for a week. I want you to smile. I know, it's crazy, super difficult, super, super hard, seemingly uh, insignificant, right? Um, but I want you to smile, and I want you to stand up straight, with the shoulders back, chest out a little bit, and just walk with an air of confidence. That's it, that's it. And just, I mean, if, you're, if you can't do this throughout the day, just try starting your day off this way. If you work in an office, try entering in to the building for the day with this attitude. The difference that you see may surprise you because I know, I, I notice it. When I walk in, I'm smiling. My shoulders are back. I'm standing up straight. And that already has me feeling better about myself in the day. And then on top of that, the 
the interactions that that gears and how that impacts um, those communications, those interactions with everyone that I'm with is significant. It, cha it changes the entire scope of the day. If I walked in, when I walk in and I'm smiling and I'm, look and I'm standing up straight and I have good posture, then the conversations that I'm having are really going to be good. Like, hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. You're looking good. You look happy. What's going on? You know, if if they even ask what's going on, a lot of times you're happy, and, people, and it will just be received from other people, and then you can inject that happiness and, and look to to spread that amongst other people, um, just kind of naturally, because those that type of energy, both negative and positive, are very attractive, and they they disperse out very easily. So think about that when you walk in and your shoulders are slumped and you got a frown on your face and you're just your head's down and you're just keeping to yourself um and think about the type of interaction that, that creates because if the first thing that somebody says to you or asks you like hey man what's going on is everything okay did you have an okay weekend um that's that's gonna change you're like oh it it already it lends credence and it gives it gives proof and power to an already downtrodden state and so if you want to continue the confirmation of these events of this negativity then walk in with your head down and your shoulders slumped and with poor posture but if you're looking to make a change and it's super easy smile and you don't have to go engage with them we'll, we'll get into that we'll get into interactions with people on another two easy tuesday but for this for this week Keep it super easy. Keep it super chill. All I want you to do is walk into the office with a smile on your face and good posture. And the interesting thing about all of that is is the science behind it. The science behind your your smile specifically. There's a lot of science behind body language and bo and posture and everything, and and even to the extent of. Um, how it impacts your memory and positive memories and, and how good posture can actually impact the quality of your positive memories. Um, and so that's pretty cool. But with the smile, it's, it's almost like there's like a loop, a cycle in your, in your brain to your face muscles that, that are linked and it can go both ways. And so if you're happy, mentally something happens that makes you happy, then it's going to trigger a smile. And that's natural. But the interesting thing is that it actually works in reverse as well. Like I said, in the loop. And so when you smile and you activate those specific types of muscles in your face, then it sends those signals back to the brain and then it makes actually produces chemicals that make you feel happy. And so the idea and concept of fake it until you make it is actually founded in science. Yes, that's right, in science. So fake it. Fake it until you make it. Um, if you're not feeling it, I've, I've done that. I've had that, that exact thing where I'm walking in and I actually noticed that like, my head is down and my shoulders are slumped. And then I was like, what am I doing? Like, what? Let's, let's change it. Let's just change it. Let's just smile. I'm just going to smile. And it was literally 25 feet. I was at the fence getting ready to walk into the building about 25 feet away. And I was like, I'm just going to smile to the doorway. And I'll tell you what, by the time that I made it to the door, I had forgot whatever it was that was making me feel down. The first interaction I had with the person, I, the first person I saw when I walked in was positive and that changed the rest of the day. It was phenomenal. And all of that is just the things and impacts that it has on you. That's nothing to talk about the impacts that this has on everybody else in the world. Um, and in your, in your society, in your culture, in your city, in your life. So, I mean, I can go down a list of how this has positively impacted people just, just smiling and walking in. And then the types of engagements that that has spurred. Um, that's going to be more for next week because we're going to talk about engagements and, and actually interacting with people and the importance and how to do that. And, and just a lot, a lot of cool, fun stuff. So it's a little taste of what's coming on next week. But uh, that's it for today. This is the premiere a premiere production from Burn Your Boats of Too Easy Tuesday. I hope it is too easy. And tomorrow, Wednesday, will be That's What You Get Wednesday. And I'm going to keep that one a surprise for you. But uh, also coming up at the end of this week is 
We have a full production interview. I have it with Chris Hoffman, who is uh, stepping into, he's been in like the full on manager position uh, for um, over a million dollar a year earning restaurant, string, uh, independent restaurant called Lansky's in Omaha, Nebraska, and in Bellevue and like the surrounding areas. Multiple locations, super successful, amazing food. And he's uh, he's been gearing up to take take full reins of ownership for a while now, and so that's uh, that's the interview that I'm coming up. And I'll tell you what, ton of insights. I go through I go through and I listen to the interviews again before I publish them, do the editing and all that. And sometimes you know it's it's kind of difficult to extract out those those teaser parts and the things that I want to give to you guys. Uh, as like, hey, this is kind of what it's going to be about, and I and I take that snippet from them and I give you the sneak peek. Tell you what, like every three minutes, every six minutes, like just continuously, I'm like, oh, that could be it. Oh, that could be it. Oh, that that could be it. Over and over again. It was just jam packed, full of amazing insights from years of experience um, in the field and in the industry, and what it takes to to really run, not just run a restaurant, but to to establish tribe and community within uh, the, those employees that he has there. So come on and join us Friday. And I'll have that ready for y'all. I hope that you enjoyed Too Easy Tuesday. And I will see you again tomorrow for That's What You Get Wednesdays.